హలలుయా సో ఈ ఈజ్ ద రివ్యూలర్ ఈజ్ ద వన్ రివీల్స్ టు యూ ద హిడెన్ ట్రెజర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద కింగ్డమ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ ద హిడెన్ ట్రెజర్ ఆఫ్ ద కింగ్డమ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ నౌ నౌ వెన్ ఐ లుక్ ఇన్ టు మై లైఫ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ బ్యాక్ వెన్ ఐ డి నాట్ నో జీసస్ ఐ నెవ ఐ నెవర్ కుడ్ ఈవెన్ ఇమాజిన్ దట్ ఐ వుడ్ బి ఇన్ కువేట్ అండ్ ప్రీచింగ్ ద వర్డ్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ దట్స్ ద లాస్ట్ థింగ్ ఇన్ మై ఎజెండా yes if you would have said i have come to quit to do some business surely i would be have been there but to take the bible and teach the bible it's it's not there it's not there but this treasure god had put in my heart it was there inside of me but i did not know it how did i discover it i discovered it the more and more i began to live on the word of god see you in god's kingdom you don't uh make a plan of what you want to be if you are planning of what you want to be then it will be a second choice it will be plan b because what god has planned for us is plan a hallelujah and and this plan a he will only reveal when he can see that we are obedient we are showing him uh with our own action the fruits of the spirit hallelujah thank you jesus now now if you look at the life of joseph can you even think for a moment a person sold as a slave after a few years is the governor of egypt so it was god's plan even though the devil wanted to uh, destroy joseph but when his brother sold him as a slave he did not keep on meditating how come my brothers did this he kept on meditating on only one thing god you gave me the dream you said you will finish it i don't care how many years it takes i don't care how many blocks it's going to take i don't care how slow it is becoming i only know lord that you have given me this and it's mine and it will not only be a blessing to me but to my generations hallelujah so he is the one who reveals to you the treasures of the kingdom of god so i if if somebody has to come and give you a gold chain free how would your relationship be with that person ladies nobody is even looking at me should i had one camera on this side brother to just give their expression sorry sorry then you have not yet met people who are in the lord the people who gave me the land is worth 24 crores where is your gold chain ah uh, no because your thinking is so small so small whereas what god is saying she said no who will give there are people who have experienced the love of god but he will not come down and give he'll give through somebody no ha huh? through somebody so so the question is are you that somebody and only when you start giving then you will begin to experience that higher life i i never knew this life all my life but as i began to follow the scriptures and and the holy spirit guiding me praise god, praise god i have been seeing the life is so beautiful there there are people who are amazed that they say 15 years brother no love offering for 15 years no love offering why because we live a life on a higher side giving now for example he is the one who is recording and this family is doing i sometimes wonder every month this family is making 2000 to 3000 dvds is it costing them money is it costing them time is it costing all those things yes how many people who are receiving the dvds are saying hey i have been taking dvds from you so this month no i want to sponsor a thousand you know you can take the dvd you can listen to the dvd you can do all those things but if your heart condition is still on the receiving side all your life you will be the same 
because if your vehicle is on the going on the left direction and you have to, God is saying the right direction is the life that I have chosen for you but you are continuing on the left side and you are praying you are fasting you are doing everything but your direction itself is wrong How many people will say, yeah, can you give me the DVD? Okay, you gave the DVD. How many people do you think after taking the DVD and they like it, have made copies of it with their own money? Because we Christians are conjuice Christians. And when, the, and when the Holy Spirit will say, no, uh, use the money, not mine. Get behind me, Satan. And that's why even after years those Christians are still in the same position wondering I attended church for 20 years I attended the prayer meeting I heard the teaching I did everything but I did not follow the instructions. Praise God. The Holy Spirit is the one who will reveal to you the treasures of the kingdom of God. Because our treasures is only on this earth. I, me, my family, that's my world. That's all. And one day, we are all going to stand before the Lord. And he's going to ask each one of us. I gave you the resources. I gave you everything. What did you do for me? How many times our prayers are, God, what can I do for you? Or God, what will you do for me? Which one? If you are in fellowship with the Holy Spirit, I guarantee you, you will not say, Holy Spirit, what will you do for me? You will ask, Holy Spirit, what can we go and do together? Because he and you are partners. That's why he is called the helper. You start the job, he will help you to complete the job. But how many of us have that attitude? Lord, what, do you, what can I do for you? You did so much for me on the cross. Now it's my turn. Tell me, Lord, what do you want me to do for you? Yesterday I went to Dubai. I was in Dubai and I went to St. Mary's Church. And uh, I met one person there. He, he recognized me. Two years back he had come for the service with a very damaged back. Okay, and that day he had got the CD and that day he got healed. For two years he has not come for the service. Neither has he seen me because the days I come he is working. But you know what he said, brother, the CD what you gave me, I made so many copies and every day I go and reach out to somebody or the other. How many meetings he has come? Just once. How many healings he got? Just once. And what he got, he began to realize that just as I receive freely, I have to go everywhere. And he's saying, brother, believe me, every day I will get somebody or the other in the office or somewhere or the other. And the Holy Spirit showing me so many beautiful things. And he had tears in his eyes and he said, two years back I had come only for one service. It changed my whole future. Only one service. It's not how many ch uh, uh, meetings do you attend. It's how much have you obeyed. How much is your response. How much have you changed your thinking. Ah. How much have you changed your thinking. Because the Holy Spirit is the one who will, who will convict you to change your thinking. He will not condemn you. But he'll convict you and he'll say to you what you're thinking is wrong. This is not what the Bible says. This is what the Bible says. Hallelujah. Believe me, brother, in this 15 years of my life with Jesus, I could never even imagine that this treasure God had given to me. It's the Holy Spirit who began to reveal to me one day at a time. 
So every step you take the promptings, you hear the promptings of the Holy Spirit and you get into action. Praise be to God. When you make it your lifestyle, after a few weeks, after a few months, after a few years, you will be amazed and you will be saying, this is not what I used to be. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now I was just chatting with one girl. She was in standard 9th when they took her out of the school because she could not read a single sentence. Then the next question would be how come she reached up till standard 9? Because she was in a special school where they can't fail you. So she was put into the next class. So she was put out of the school and then she did uh, she did study, tried to study and she got 37% in standard 10th and for her 37 percent would be like 90 percent for a normal student and after that she started getting into the word of god listening to the word of god she finished her graduation with first class she finished her masters with distinction and she was an hr in a company and she always would say god i want to live for you even if i want if even if i'm working I want to work for you. I don't want to go and work in a company where I'll work and I'll get a salary. I want to work in a company where I can uh, go and do your work. And she got a Christian boss. And uh, MD said, I want you to start a Bible class over here. So every Saturday she teaches to the colleagues Bible. So the MD also comes and sits for the Bible class. And he also is learning. So now it so happened that if when there were some questions, some, uh, some decisions have to be taken, he would come and say, in a situation like this, what is the Bible saying? He would ask her. And she would give him an incidence of what the Bible says and he began to make those decisions and bring a change in the place and that place began to prosper. It began to prosper so much that he took her out of the job. He said, I don't need you in this job anymore. So he took her out and said, I got a software company, IT software company, which is not doing good. I want to put you there. And she said, listen, I'm a psychologist. Okay? And you are putting me over there. And he said, listen, weren't you teaching the last week that the Lord was with Joseph and because the Lord was with Joseph, God made everything to prosper in Joseph's hands. So, when the Egyptian master put him in different department, the Lord made him to prosper. So, I am putting you in this department. So, you are supposed to bring prosperity. And she said, yes, I will. And she began to go to the IT company. She doesn't know what is software. She doesn't know anything. And now, I was chatting with her this morning. And I said, baby, how, how is it going on? She said, Papa, it's so simple. I Every day I'm saying hundred times, I have the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God is formed within me. Lord, I don't know how, what to do there. I'm going there in your name and you are going to guide me. Holy Spirit, guide me. And she's saying, it's ten days over. People are already beginning to respond to her. So the Spirit of God will teach you things which you don't even know. Now, her parents could ever even think that this girl till standard 9th has failed. In standard 10, she gets 37 percent mark. Can she hold a position of a manager in an IT company? What I'm trying to say is, when a person is rooted in the word and makes Holy Spirit, his Lord, his Master, and his hearing, his promptings, and is led by the Spirit of God, what a person cannot achieve in his lifetime, that person will achieve in no time. Amazing, no? So he will reveal to you the hidden treasures of the kingdom of God. The Holy Spirit holds the keys to the inheritance of the children of God. Now, let me give you an example. How many times do we go and tell God, bless me? Hello? 
my sister from sri lanka do you dare say to god god please bless me yes, yes or no yes. yes my dear sister do you say to god bless me no ha huh? grace is how what is grace okay so so how do you get those grace something that you don't deserve but god gives it to you how do you receive grace you receive that grace as a gift from god now to get an understanding of your inheritance it is the holy spirit who has got the key to it is the holy spirit who will teach you what to do for example that lady that arab lady when she uh, came in and she could not even sit on that sofa okay she was in pain now there are so many scriptures in the bible which one to pick up for her the holy spirit will reveal i did not pick up that i picked up luke chapter 13 that the woman who had a bent back she was suffering from a spirit of infirmity jesus touched her and said woman you are loose now and the spirit fell from her now question when we were putting that song thank you for the cross lord did you see what happened to her did you see she began to manifest did you see how restless she became why because it's a spiritual war now before the song how how nicely she was sitting she was saying my face is glowing and all those good things she said but the moment the song began the moment the song began did you see her expression she was in hurt everywhere she even closed her ears so the spirit of god will tell you what to do because he has the key to our inheritance now for example for when by the time she left she was set free now that power by which those spirits came out of her okay do you mean to say to get that gift i have fasted i have prayed i have i have done so much of the sacrifices and then god said okay you have done all that so let me give it to you is it that way then how did i receive yeah by the holy spirit but how did i receive i i must have gone for so many retreats no how does a person receive a person receives only as a gift from god by faith now who will give you that understanding the holy spirit why is it that in my past life before i met the lord so many people came and spoke to me about jesus but i refused to even listen to them so many people were saying come to for come for mass every sunday i refused it okay now why is it that i am coming now why is it that whole day i am in the word of god because the holy spirit is the one who helped me to renew my mind and understand the spiritual life because all our life we have been trained with what natural senses for natural life but god has given us one sense more which is called as a faith sense which is only for spiritual things so laying hands over somebody and getting them healed now that is our inheritance that is what jesus has earned for us we don't sweat for it we don't work for it we receive it by faith as a gift from god now the bible is full of inheritance but you do not know so what will happen will you be able to enjoy the inheritance no but if you have a relationship with the holy spirit he will lead you to all truths and show you your inheritance and when you begin to use the knowledge that comes from the holy spirit in your life now that inheritance will begin to manifest in your life so do you need to have a good good relationship with the holy spirit Oh yes he is the one who will teach you the bible because please understand jesus is the hero but the holy spirit is the writer 
and only the writer knows on what context he has written that and if you are with the a good relationship with the holy spirit he will himself come and sit with you and teach you what he has written which is inside which you don't know let me give you an example uh, like you read your the bible and you read it love your enemies it's a command given by jesus love your enemies but did he say how to love your enemies if if you got somebody who has hurt you okay how do you come out of that hurt does it teach you no but the holy spirit is the one who will teach you these things and you will experience the inheritance that god has for us amen amen, amen. amen. then the next one is the holy spirit is the most valuable asset to christian living holy spirit is the most valuable asset to christian living now don't you want to build up assets in your life yes. yes so you are all the time interested in taking a big property and if i can keep it for 10 years the money will just multiply and all those things right yes. now which is the most precious asset in our life holy land very good holy spirit <laughs> huh holy spirit. holy spirit but but do we do we really really in our lifestyle make holy spirit a asset see see Now, see so see i'll tell you whatever we believe that will be our action if you say i believe that holy spirit is the greatest asset in my life but your action doesn't show that your action shows totally worldly things but when you come to church you can take a mic and you can say holy spirit is my greatest greatest partner and i am with him all the time but when you look at your fruits it's entirely different praise god he is the holy spirit is the central figure in any breakthrough in our life he is the central figure in any breakthrough in our life now if you want a breakthrough or regarding a divorce the holy spirit is the one who will get the job done i'll just show you something isaiah 54 16 can you please read this behold i have created the smith that blows the coals in the fire that brings forth an instrument for his work and i have not created the waster to destroy no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper and everything every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shall condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the lord and their righteousness is of me says the lord behold i have created the smith behold i have created the smith what is a smith works on tools like a blacksmith the blacksmith okay so god is saying i've created the blacksmith for what to blow the coals in the fire and to bring forth an instrument for his work so a farmer wants to grow crop but he says i am willing to grow the crop but don't ask me to plow the land will it do happen it won't happen so you need to plow the land and for that you need the tools you need the resources so here is god saying i have already chosen a person for you who is at this very moment blowing the coals and preparing a weapon for you that on the day of the battle when you take use this weapon it will be so powerful that the enemy will not be able to withstand you hallelujah so i'll give you this incident that this person a particular bank had cheated him of a huge 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 amount 
And now if he applies a case on them, then the uh, advocate fees will be also very high. Praise God. And this case is not in India, it's in UK. So when he is going through this, the fraud, the bank is giving him an explanation that it's not a fraud. And this thing is happening. And that's the time I give him the scripture and he makes it into a song. And with his guitar he's singing this song. Behold, I've created the smith that blows the coals in the fire, that brings forth an instrument for his work, and I've created the waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise up against me in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the servant of the Lord. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. So if you see the smith, he will keep that iron piece on the coal and till it becomes red hot, he will not remove. Once he has removed, once it becomes red hot, he starts hammering and giving that shape. Praise God. In the same way God is saying that I have chosen a blacksmith for you who is at this very moment blowing the coal and preparing a weapon for you. Now, even though this case was in London, Okay, he chose a lawyer from India who is not a Christian. Hallelujah. And this lawyer won, fought the battle and won the match for him because his case was genuine. But in spite of his case being genuine, nobody wanted to take his case. But this person took his case, won the case. Now what is he saying? Is not only blowing the coals in the fire, is bringing forth an instrument for his work that, and I have destroyed the waster to destroy. In other words, he's saying, I have brought the substance that is needed to fulfill this dream. And then he says, when this weapon will be ready, Satan will have no power, no place in that church. Every tongue that shall rise up against you in judgment shall be condemned. So the more and more you believe the scripture, things will begin to change. And this person said this bank had cheated him and the difference amount was huge, 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 huge. Extremely huge. And when I gave him this scripture and I and I said meditate on this scripture, he began to sing. And as he began to sing, people began to ask him, how come you are doing this? You should have been in the office. And he said, Does, doesn't matter, I'm just taking some rest. I'm taking my rest in the Lord. And now, he's saying, Brother, when my lawyer began to speak in the courtroom, those who are against me at that time just kept their mouth shut. They would not even get up from their seat. And they came uh, and, and, and he said that the weapon that my lawyer had created, when he spoke those things, they had no answer for it. And the whole case was turned in my favor. And I won the case. I not only won the money that was lost, but I also won the interest on that money that I had already lost. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you take this, weapon, this verse number 17, you must always remember 16. 16 says, what does 16 says? That God has already created for me a blacksmith at this very moment, I don't know which part of the world, which part of India is blowing the coal and preparing the weapon for the day of the battle. Hallelujah. So if you are looking for any breakthrough, who is the one who will give you the breakthrough? Holy Spirit. So all this time, where are you running for breakthroughs?
is the one who will give you the breakthrough in every area of your life. But the question is, are you willing to tell him that you need help? 